Hey everybody, today I wanted to talk to you all about fuel prices. Uh, you know, in Texas we're going $4.99, $5.30 I've seen. Uh, I was talking to somebody in California and they're seeing about the same prices depending on where they live. When we're in Texas you generally think that you're going to have a little bit better fuel prices down here than you, know, or, than you will in other states like Minnesota or Calgary or something like that. But you know, we've, we're paying a lot like everybody else is right now and you, you see a lot of stuff online about running red diesel and black diesel and people doing all kinds of different stuff so I wanted to show you all how to get good fuel economy out of an ALH like you're probably already getting 35 40 miles per gallon maybe 50 miles per gallon out of an ALH anyway but maybe you can get a little bit more so I'm gonna show you all how to do that with uh, KO60295 here from Gates or oh, and uh, number a 16 millimeter wrench here so I'm not really doing this for for fuel economy I'm doing this for this Toyota swap here I'm putting a 1.9 ALH and a 1992 Toyota 4Runner so this is the part number that you need and right here it tells you the measurements on it too if you have a different brand but I think they're all gonna be the same these numbers here because K060295 and Gates corresponds to the same measurements as 5060295 oh, in the Deco. So O'Reilly's Gates, um, Deco, I believe, is sold at like AutoZone or Napa or somewhere else. But 060295, oh, or just give them those measurements there, and that's going to get you the belt that you need just to slip right on there and run alternator only. Well, everybody, that was just a small part of this uh, swap I'm doing. It's 1.9 ALH TDI into a 92 Forerunner, second gen Forerunner. So I'm leaving my suspension in place. I'm leaving my tr transmission in place. I'm not doing a body lift. I'm going to figure all that stuff out as I go. So if y'all want to like and subscribe, you can follow along and see how I overcome whatever challenges it's got. So far, it's been a pretty darn easy swap. This is like the fourth swap I've done so far into different vehicles and this is one of the more straightforward kind of just bolt together and and, and and everything kind of falls into place easier than the other swaps I've done. So I, this is this is a good one. So please like and subscribe and I'll keep you all updated on the progress. Thanks.